from time to time in the eyeglass design uh, world a particular style uh, becomes so widely known and so closely associated with a person or a place that it becomes iconic and there are few better known or more widely seen than this model the classic John Lennon eyeglass set now we have thousands and thousands of photographs of John Lennon taken during his lifetime and in fact if you look at them closely you'll find that he had a collection of several hundred uh, eyeglasses not all of which were necessarily this one and if you're considering picking out a John Lennon style eyeglass for yourself you may want to review what he actually owned and wore over the decades that he was photographed wearing eyeglasses. John Lennon wore uh, certainly wire rim like this happened to be a pewter color round lenses this particular one has cable ends but he also wore straight ends he wore horned rim round glasses like these and he wore combos where the lenses themselves were surrounded with a darker material but the arms and the nose bridge were either silver or gold. He did wear vintage goods at times in fact in the early days he wore some that clearly did not fit him but were prescription lenses in a small set frame this is a 44 and wound up wearing more commonly a large frame that was about a 50 with round lenses of this type so how do we formulate what the John Lennon style is? Well the one thing that comes most commonly um, to mind is the fact that almost all cases the lenses were round as in this pair here. However he did on occasion wear oval lenses like this pair here. Whether round or oval they generally were round at the top there were a few examples of shortened what we would call a flat top like this one here and this one is a demi rimless in other words open glass at the bottom half hoop at the top and this is an example of one that he wore on several occasions his fifth solo album referred to as walls and bridges he wore actually five pairs of glasses on his face at the same time. Many of them are represented here. Ironically, one of them was in fact a, a, an aviator, which is at the top of the five that he wore. So let's take a look at the shared characteristics of the majority of the eyeglasses that he wore if you're intending to pick one out that emulates and honors this style. First of all, it should be very obvious that most of the lenses in most of the cases as we've already said were round but more importantly than that one of the things that emerged was his preference for wearing frames that lined up the attachment points so that one half of the frame lens was above a center line and one half was below and this is a particularly noticeable characteristic. When someone wears a frame that the attachment points pass through the pupil of the eye at this point here and then continue on through the nose bridge past the pupil on the other side and then go to an attachment point on, on the, on the op opposing side it's a very distinct look and when you put that on someone's face it's very noticeable this was worn by a number of people Churchill, Gandhi um, other designers also picked up on this like Coco Chanel the round lens the uh, straight bridge the look that produces this image right here that with the arms are closed you have one continuous line going across the face and two round lenses. Sometimes the surrounds were quite heavy in the case of Harold Lloyd for example. Lennon generally went with a fairly trim surround although there are some examples of him having worn gusseted ones like this where there was actually an insert surrounding the round lens which also had a flattened top on it. This is available in several hundred pictures that he wears. 
So in choosing yours, what you want to decide, first of all, is do you want to look at a John Lennon glass that is vintage, like this one here. This is about the size of the ones he wore in the onset, slightly small for his face. Or do you wish to find one that is larger and fits your head better, like this one here. This is a 54. The Temple Arms, in some occasions, probably the majority of the ones he wore, were cable ends like these. However, he did wear conventional golf tips like these. Fortunately, because we have thousands of pictures of him, we can see exactly what it was that he wore and, and get a general idea, an average idea of what it was that he had a preference for. And again, that preference was always a round lens, seemed to have a real interest in antique pieces in the beginning, did go on to some modern adaptations, like this one right here, modern lens, size 54, Again, the round lenses, the straight across line between the attachment point on the left, the attachment point on the right, and the bridge in the center. For yourself, you need to decide whether you're going to be wearing single vision or whether you're going to have something that has an insert with a different prescription in the bottom third or quarter. He also wore sunglasses that were very much like this. Same, same frame, same lens, same idea but tinted. And those tints ranged everywhere from pink to blue to green. Uh, there were many, many colors. Rose pink was a favorite. Um, dark blue was a favorite. So, in looking for your frame in the John Lennon style, you decide what frame width you want first, how large a circle you wish to have in front of your eyes, what type of arm you wish to affix at the back and where, the length of that arm as well as the type of that arm. If you're going to try to go antique, the choices will be much fewer than they will if you go to a modern retro design. Most modern lenses are relatively small compared to most modern ones. This frame is a 54, this frame is a 46. And you have to think in terms of your head having to be accommodated by the width in the frame. Whether you're going to require something a little bit wider, like that. This is also going to affect your pupillary distance. The bridge and its width will affect how far it is between where your correction is placed in the lens, your pupil, and this imaginary center line and then out to the same spot on the other side, your pupillary distance. One of the nice things about round lenses is they're very accommodating for progressive or bifocal lenses. You have a lot of usable space down here, which allows you to have your field of vision in the upper section and progress to a close-up prescription beneath that. So, listing once again, your width, your arm type, the size of the lens you wish to place in front of your face, your pupillary distance, and then whether you wish to have clear lenses, transition lenses that darken with the sun or are called photochromic, and the length of the arm you wish to accommodate either in a golf tip or in a cable end in order to wear them comfortably and keep them on your head during active sports. Any of these could be said to be representative of glasses that John Lennon wore during his lifetime. And if you wish to focus on one more than the other, then you move right on to the decision of whether you're going to go with antique or modern retro. And that is the world of John Lennon designs. There is um, a fairly good collection of images of John Lennon. If you were to Google John Lennon images, you'll see several pages, several, actually thousand photographs of him wearing any number of the glasses represented here today. 
So explore and enjoy. Enjoy.